Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can protect your iPhone 15 Pro screen and the lens covers on the rear with a product from ESR. These are really good, the touchscreen interface works perfectly and the screen is really clear. You can get these screen covers and protectors for different iPhones as well, I've put links in the description below. Please do use links in the description as I do get a small commission. Let's go! This is the tempered glass screen protector that I use on all my phones and devices, it's really good. It's military grade protection and it's really easy to see through and you get three screen protectors and it covers your cameras. Here we got a brand new iPhone 15 and inside the box we've got a quick QR code so it's got a how-to video if you want to follow along from the manufacturer's video and then inside we have the wipes, we have the lens covers, there's three screen protectors included which will last you a good year and there's the easy mounting frame. First thing to do is put your phone on the rubber mat included and then orientate the frame so the little lugs with the gaps are facing upwards. Next step is to get the wet wipes, which is number one. So you use number one for cleaning, which is basically a wet cleaning agent. Peel off the screen protector on your phone, grab the wet wipe, give it a good rub just to make sure there's no fingerprints or dirt on there. Ideally you should dry it with number two, but mine dry pretty quickly. So I skip straight to number three, which is the dust remover. So just dab it up and down on the dust patches until they're all gone. The phone might slide around a little bit, but don't worry about that. If any dust spots fall on while you're mounting anything, just give it another dab. I've put the phone frame on now, so we're now ready to get the screen protector on. Any other dust spots, just dab them and they'll disappear. Open the screen cover and then just slide in one edge. So I'm sliding the left edge first and then just let it drop down and then try and push from the center outwards. And as soon as you lift the frame off, it should start to attach itself to the phone screen. And then you can either use your fingers to get rid of any air bubbles. One little tip I found was I could use the lens cover because it kind of feels like a credit card. And that was like a good squeegee to get the air bubbles out of the screen. And just keep going until you've got rid of all the air bubbles. Have a good look. Squeeze any additional bits out. And once it's looking clear and you can't see any more bubbles, the screen's good to go. And then we're going to move on to the rear lenses. So flip your phone upside down and put it on the rubber mat. And then as we did before, we're just going to get one of the wet wipes, give the lenses a clean to make sure they're spotless, and then dry them with the number two towel. As there weren't any dust spots on this, I just carried on and added the protector on. What you want to do is make sure that you orientate the protector so it matches with the phone. So you can see it's got the little dots for the LiDAR sensor and the light and then peel off the cover, carefully place the cover onto the lens and then just push down on each of the three lenses and then peel off the cover and that's your lens covers attached and then just wipe off the fingerprints with a wet cloth, use a drying cloth to remove any additional bits and then you're good to go, you've now got a nice screen protector on the front and your lenses are protected on the rear.